Welcome back. We are ready to continue the journey deeper into the Rito quest to figure out what the Stormwind Cloud arc is all about, figure out why the blizzard has been so destructive to Rito Village, to talk to these people, to learn where Hearth is, to get answers about Tulin. So we're going to start by talking to this lonely watchman. Hey there, are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlights set up around that fancy Skyview Tower. It won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat its size and sheer brightness. The Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Alright, Neck. Thanks for the info. The Hebra Trailhead Lodge. What is this stuff? Looks like we have a new a researcher. We found these strange things at the foot of the Hebra Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is that they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit with one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them for some reason, they're all yours. Thanks, Misa. Do I have to get on the table to take them? <laughs> Pardon me. There's icicles hanging from the lodge. Okay, we got woods and flints. Oh, and these are crates. And I do have my brand new axe. Here we go. Just three arrows in those massive crates? Who packs these boxes? Okay, there's Hearth. What's inside that cloud? Don't mind me, I'm just going to rustle up all these supplies. An oil jar. A mild oil extracted from plant seeds. It's very versatile in cooking and can coax flavors from ingredients used in many dishes. Also good for adding fuel to fire. Half expected them to say something about me taking their things. I just realized they had a wardrobe over here. I don't know that I've seen a Rito wardrobe before. Supplies kind of remind me of the stocked shelves in Hateno Village. I wonder if there's any copies of the same shelving in the village. Okay, Horth may be referencing his research papers. Hmm. Let's talk to her first. I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so that you don't notice the cold so much. We do not have many of them here, but you are welcome to what's available. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. Oh, thanks, Amali. I actually will cook these dishes, I promise. I'm not just taking them. Horace, my man. Oh, I started the Rito Records. Read this book about the Stormwind Ark? Yeah, let's go ahead and read about the Stormwind Ark. What do you want to read? Let's read the legend. One day, the winds that ought to blow in Rito Village ceased. Then the heavens grew stagnant and the earth fell to ruin. The villagers looked skyward for a solution. They saw a figure pierce through the unmoving gray clouds and ascend swiftly toward them. Believing no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the villagers called this figure a god. And the gods stood atop a hill day after day, longing to return home to their island in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet who could say how far it might be, the place this god came from? 
The Rito took flight in turn, each hoping to reach that place above the clouds. Alas, none had wings strong enough. Seeing this, the god told the leader of the village that returning to the heavens was possible if the Rito gathered materials. Their spirits high, the villagers set about doing so. The god nodded upon seeing the tall pile of materials. This, they understood, would be enough. The god poured a strange power into the pile, and several small boats were assembled. Cautiously, the villagers boarded. The small vessels began floating up into the air. With the god leading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. The vastness of the heavens took the villagers' breath away. Floating islands dotted a clear blue sky. The villagers rejoiced songfully and then, with reluctance, returned to earth. One day, winds at the village roared back to life. In shock, the villagers looked to the sky. Floating above them was an enormous ship that the god had sent in gratitude. Numerous oars on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. Air blew across Hebra once again. The skies cleared, and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of wind. This ark that saved the village from catastrophe came to be known as the Stormwind Ark. So ends the story of the Stormwind Ark that saved the village long ago. Okay, what is in the table of contents? The legend and the song, which we heard last time by the Rito girls. So we'll just now talk the hearth. Link, oh. you're all right. I worried after I heard that you had gone missing. What happened? Well, you see, I was looking for Hylian Pinecones, oh. and ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Our oh. feathers are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. Wish I could do more for you. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help? All right, you weren't around for it, but little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. His oh. wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Teba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. The kid mm. does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last time I saw him, he was with Gassani and Lisa on a trip to find food. I think they were on their way to Hebrew South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff, out front, and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave, and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Thanks, Arth. All right, let's do it. Doesn't appear to be that there's any other supplies here. Just this good-looking little lodge and the fires. Nick. All right, what does the sign say? Heber Mountain Climbing Path. Onward and upward. Would be a good idea to go ahead and get to the tower. Hmm. I'm supposing we will run into the monsters as they mentioned. So if I go this way, is that the way? There's no details, but we do have the marker on the tower. It doesn't look like it's that high up. Probably a good place to climb for it. What do we have over there? That's one of those fires on the way. All right. This wasn't so bad. Yeah. That was a lot closer than it seemed from down below. Is that a lizard? No. The Rospro Pass Skyview Tower. Rospro. 
Sounds bird-like. Probably because it is. Okay, if I get the updraft... Oh! <laughs> okay, if I get the updraft, as I was saying... All right. Pretty straightforward. I love this particular sequence of events. It's much faster than the, what you had to deal with the towers in Breath of the Wild. And even though the tower as a structure isn't as impressive as the ones in Breath of the Wild, this is more my style. more modern, you know, technologies of the Sheikah, rather than the ancient style. Okay, we got a shrine down below, not far from us. And from here, we might even just be able to land right atop of wherever you want to land. Mm, the cloud cover in this blizzard is making it hard to see where we want to land, though. Whoa, okay, so that was hidden up in the sky. That must be the source of the blizzard. That great big top-down view of what looks sort of like a cyclone. Uh, you know, it doesn't appear to move around the map. It just stays where it is. But that covers all of Mount Hebra, and then some. Okay. I'm going to drop markers. Uh, that one looks pretty far. But it looks like it's actually on a... Yeah, it's on a Sky Island. There's the two fires. Hmm. While we're here, why don't we just go ahead and check out this sky island? Doesn't look like anything special. Okay. Is that it? Is it worth there? Oh, maybe this is, like, intended to get you to get up to that other Sky Island. Maybe it's just, like, a resting point on the way. We got a construct boss over there. Do I have what I need to travel there? Hmm. I've got a couple of fans. But I don't have an awful lot of Zonai power. But do fans take all that much power? Would be nice to have his parts. I'll risk one fan.
Uh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that's all I wanted. So, where does this put us in relation to everything else? Okay, so this is where we saw a shrine. This is where I saw, I think, another shrine that I marked. Wait for it to charge. Hmm. I think I can make it. What do you think? Let's go for it. Cannot tell how tough you'll be until we get into it. Okay, so he's a construct one, not too difficult. Just pull him apart. And it should, yeah, be vulnerable. Hmm. Well, here's a chest. Oh, an old map. This might be our first. Okay, let's get back. Take me to your body. You're not gonna go? Huh. <laughs> Got some cooking pots, right? I wonder if it limits you, because I know there's all kinds of materials that we could potentially acquire from these guys, but I wonder if it limits you to materials you've previously gathered from the capsule dispensers. So is that a snowball claymore? Maybe we'll use that. No, no, no. The spear, your time has come. Much better weapon. I've seen better, but it's pretty good. What do we have here? Looks like materials to travel further to another island. Got a rocket. Yeah, that's a rocket. Let's put that on our shield. Maybe I need to detach it from this first. Got some more flame things. I'm supposing the rockets might be more attractive for our mission ahead. Anything else? As high as we are in this cold environment, I'm not surprised. Okay. Where should we go? You know, I didn't think about this part. Figuring out where we needed to go from here. So, is that marker on a shrine I missed? Because it's so foggy, I really can't tell. 
Like, is there a part of the structure beneath us? Or is it above us? Yeah, it's above us. Okay. Well, I guess that's the whole point of using this then to go skyward. I don't think I have enough material. If I had a torch, I could do it with a torch. But I don't have enough power to get my air balloon up there. Yeah, it won't work today. So let's get rid of this one. And we've already been there. Been there, so we want to kind of be here. So not a bad idea to go ahead and try to land at the shrine. Okay, here goes nothing. I don't think I can make it there, but that's where we gotta go. If only we had something that could blow us in that direction. Oh, we got a group of monsters here. Let's have fun with these guys. How should we meddle with them? This spear can really throw me. What hit us? Oh, he had things in the pouch. Fun times. Oh, it's a Rito Spear. Let's take this, because it's not very often I get a chance to use one. The Feathered Spear. It produces a strong wind, it says. All right. This is the way. Okay. As it goes in this game, you have an objective, and then you have everything that takes you off of the objective, and then you get eventually back to your objective. Aid from above in the Sahiro Shrine. Okay, looking for that aid. Hmm. Just gotta jump over it? Okay. Okay, that is a trap. Huh. I almost feel like I should trigger it, just to see what it is. I'm assuming it's a pit, but sometimes they're cleverer. Mm. They actually mean for you to go into these pits. Okay, got to ascend. You know, it took me a while to understand the shrines. In... Breath of the Wild, the monks made them challenging. What the? 
Oh, I, 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 I'm too young. I'm not ready for this. I, I, I wanted to... What's the other direction? <laughs> I didn't know... Okay, so what I was saying was, in Breath of the Wild, it felt like the monks wanted to hone your skills, to challenge you, to become a better warrior, to be a, a very credible knight, to be prepared for anything and everything. Okay, let's go here. Get ready with Ascend. Oh, okay, let's get closer. Get in. And so, so in Breath of the Wild, it was all about training Link, because he didn't have enough experience. I, I really wanted to see... I wanted to go find a treasure chest. I didn't know that that was going to take me to the end. Okay, so... The, the Breath of the Wild's monks, they wanted Link to improve his strength, his stamina, his determination, his creativity, and problem-solving. So, their challenges were about getting him to mature as a knight, to be more successful. In this game, huh, I think I need to get above. It's not about the same things. It's more like, can I climb this? I can't climb this. It's more about like, what was Raru thinking when he made this thing as a challenge? And the answer seems to be that he knew the powers that Link would have with the arm, and he just wanted to make it impossible for people with ordinary abilities to get into any of the shrines. So he knew he just had to build these things in such a way that only someone like Link with these abilities would be able to successfully complete them. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I think it just got it. Okay. So from here... Oh, shoot. Okay, try that again. Wait, will it go back now if I... No. The path leads it here. Hmm. Should be enough. There we go. Oh no, <laughs> this, there's nothing. That was it? I thought I was gonna get up over the wall and then be able to go down and that's where the treasure chest is. That's not it. It said that help would come from above. Huh. I'm stumped. <laughs> Can't get through there. What am I missing? <gasps> what? That was it? Oh, wow. Okay. So, I just made it a lot harder than it needed to be. Why did they even give us two blocks? Okay, so I, I figured that 
Ravru's point in having these puzzles in the shrines was he just injured near them in such a way that no one would be able to solve them who didn't have the abilities of the Zonai Arms abilities, the Sage's abilities. He knew that Link would acquire them, and all of them would be necessary to acquire the Lights of Blessing in the shrines. So, as to prevent anyone else from collecting the Lights of Blessing, he made sure that tests in the shrines made it necessary for you to have the Sage abilities. Or not the sage abilities, but the the abilities of like recall and ultra hand, that sort of thing. All right. So I don't want to wind up back at the beginning or something by jumping and just getting back to where we started. I want to be like here. Seems like that is an important bonfire over there. Hmm. That's just monsters. We don't necessarily need those guys, so I think this might be a shortcut to where we need to get to. The Hebra South Summit Cave. Yes, Lisa. Didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon, what with the blizzard and all. I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Those Hylian pine cones, they're amazing. Looking for Tulin, huh? Fair enough. He's farther into the cave with Gassetti. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around on the walls. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tulin. Thanks, Lisa. So, I met all of these Ritos in Breath of the Wild. Doesn't seem like they necessarily remember me. So this apparently leads us further, deeper in, but it doesn't show us what's on the other side of these thorns. Whatever's over there. Let's see. So it doesn't give you an updraft inside of the cave. Oh, there it does. Hmm. Got him. Excellent. And nutritious. I would give him to Lisa if I thought she would take him. Okay, we got a gale from below. Anything down here worth taking? Whoa! Is that it? Okay, cool. But there's no Gale here. Okay. And when we go high enough, we can go through that passage with that other bright cap. Whoa, that didn't take long. Anything else around? Nope. 
Sounds like my neighbor is using some power tools on his back porch. Sorry if that is coming through my microphone. <laughs> I hit the bright bloom. Oh, we hear the horror blend. <laughs> the weak ones are as easy to, to, you know, defeat as simple bow coplins. You know? Is this where it wants us to go? Man, my, my neighbor's power tool sounds like it's on its last leg. Yes, we found the goods. The pine cones of great value. Gotcha. Alright, so to continue, we gotta make a fire. That's clear. And then we can use that technique that creates the gusts with the Hylian pine cones. Yes! Okay, so is this the way on? But then there's another passage there? I don't remember. Yes. Got him. Good deal. Okay. You know, I don't think I found that bubble frog before. Glad I found him when I did. I did this mission before, found Tulin. I missed a fish. Or he uh, popped up after I ascended. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, goody. <laughs> okay, we've got another Rito. That's Tulin. What are we going to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Oh! Well, I'll be. What is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Those pine cones, am I right? You're here to talk to Tulin, huh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters pass outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm gonna go follow them back to their nest, and flew off before anyone could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed them there. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Thanks, Cassetti. 
appreciate you giving me just the facts. You know, just the facts. Do I have a bunch of apples that I could roast? I could bake? Yes, I do. I think that the baked goods are a lot more useful in this game than they were in Breath of the Wild. Huh. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, there's two fish. No, coming in. That is so cool. Oh, and there's a monster camp right there. Well, have fun, boys. Icy meat. I hear that those are really good if you attach them to shields for shield surfing in the desert. That's one of the torches here, but I don't want to collect it right now for trying to get to the shrine on the islands. I need to do the main quest first. Make sure none of the monster parts were blown back where I can't see them. Yep, there we are. Okay. Is that Addison? That is Addison, no way. Dude. Where's the gear to like, help you hold your sign up and stuff? Dude. You're a freak of nature. Unless you're expecting people to use these rocks to hold your side up. That works? I bet that this could hold up the sign in theory. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it's not touching. I'd have to have, like, perfectly shaped snowballs. Okay, now we gotta figure out where Tulin might be. Alright, he said, I guess, yeah, Gassetti told us that he left the cave and went toward the lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. So I'm pretty sure that's this right here. And we no longer need this. So, we just gotta wind ourselves around this bend, and then find a way to get up to there. Actually, we can make a shortcut of this. And that's probably the- yep, that's our tree. Okay. I tried to do the flip. Wonder if the angle was wrong.
Oh, what? He came out of nowhere. All of these chill shrooms will come in handy when we try to cook up things we need to get into the desert later. Okay. Still gotta get higher. Whoa, there's the cyclone. And I think that's the, yeah, there's the tree. So, I have a thought. Is that just an enemy in the ice? Yeah, it's just a boat goblin. Okay, so I have those rockets on shields. And there's Tulin. Should have kept my guard up. Stupid monster. Well, Lake, where did you come from? What happened? Oh, uh, you see... That rotten monster took my good bow. See? That bow napper. Yeah, there's your swallow bow. I've got to get it back. Help me out, Link. Sh uh, sure. Oh. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you, too. That way you can glide over to where the monster went. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Tulin's power of wind. When Tulin's aura is charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Alright, let's do it. Super. Do I have... A Keese Eyeball. Got it. <laughs> Let's catch Tulin. There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. All right, we got fast approachers at 9 o'clock. There's more of them. <laughs> oh yeah, look at his chops. Alright, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. Yeah, let's do this. Whoa, what was that about? I've only tried to kill you. Good job, Tulin. We did it. Hey, look. I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Okay, that's new. Hmm? Was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. Must have been something else. Hey, oh, Tulin! Lake! Link. Huh. Is that hearth? Oh. That was some impressive teamwork you do. Oh, you saw that hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Gassani tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought it was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. You were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Oh, yeah. Funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. 
but I guess she was fine, because then she zoomed up above that cloud. What? Huh? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm, seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Tulin, huh? Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate that cloud that you say the princess soared into. Huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but... There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Uh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Teba. Dad said that? Oh. Yep and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing that blizzard. No problem! The two of us together have got this! I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Link, oh. Tulin, we're counting on you. That was awesome. Okay, so this is a good place to stop. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode. If you're enjoying these, give it a thumbs up. If you have any other thoughts about things you want me to do in the game, you want me to do in the near future, things I should know before I get up to the Stormwind arc, mention those in the comments. I'll be sure to check those out on the way. May God bless you all, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.